whenever I have a new morning routine, even if it's something so simple like adding a couple new habits, it always inspires me. And since adding some new habits, I am down three pounds, so I know that it's working. But more importantly, I'm excited. I'm excited when the alarm goes off. Since I do wake up before my daughter and husband, sometimes when the alarm goes off, I'm like, no, I just want to sleep in because I technically don't have to be up. But I'm just excited to work on these habits. So the first thing is I make my own oat milk. I made a video on this. I'm just frothing that. But something that has helped me to lose weight is adding MCT oil to my coffee. That way it's a fat, so it keeps me full a little longer. So after the MCT oil, I do a little bit of cinnamon, and this is my flavor for my coffee. And then I just mix that all together, and then I add the froth oat milk on top, and I don't have any extra sweeteners. And by the time you guys see this, it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. Me and hubby are very in the spirit this year. After coffee and before my protein smoothie, I do take my probiotic. This one is by Seed, and it's their daily symbiotic, and I've been taking this since 2021. This helped me so much with my digestion and this is the next new part of my routine is I started adding some resistance training so while my mom is in town her personal trainer is visiting her because they're also friends and she gave us a training day which was really awesome but even more importantly she showed me different weight moves that I can do at home so after I saw her then I went to Dick's Sporting Good and I got some weights for at home so I've been doing that and and in my next few videos, you guys will see the weights that I'm doing at home. And it's all a routine that she gave me, which I feel so much better about. So I didn't have to come up with my own. Officially, good morning, guys. So I think I'm going to stay in like comfortable workout clothes for today. Like, I don't really know where the day is going to take us. But this is the last episode of my Abundant Girl series. This was a series that... I wanted to do for the new year keep you guys motivated and there's you know great tips in every single video i also got some new makeup so i'll show you guys as i'm doing it what's new but the first thing is this say liquid bronzer i'm obsessed i mix it in with a tinted moisturizer i think i need more of this stuff this is the juice beauty tinted moisturizer i love it and then i mix it with the bronzer. If I'm wearing like foundation foundation, I still like Giorgio Armani Luminous Salt. Then I have just a little bit of my Tarte concealer left. I'm going to get something different next time around. Not because this is bad. I like it. If you haven't tried it, I think you'll like it. But if you've used it for a while, then you know what I mean. Like you're just down and try something else. If the lighting looks different, I had to turn on the light because it's like now a cloudy day and it got really dark in here. But the last part of the Abundant Girl series that I want to talk about today, you know when people say start slow, I've said that, especially when it comes to like weight loss and working out because that's one of my main goals right now. Really like any goals, you should aim for doing something sustainable, right? Like we don't want to do anything crazy where we're not going to be able to keep it up. But I also have another approach that I think has been working for me and that's leaning into motivation when you really have it and let that be your momentum. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say it's content creating. I just went to an influencer um, event brunch thing and we were all talking about the influencer life and and content creation and you know everyone sharing some of their tips and how they create content. And one thing I'll say is like when you're creating content, you're motivated and inspired and excited. Use that as your, your momentum to like leap you off. Like if you're like, you know what? I want to create content today. Go create content that day. If you're excited about your weight loss and you're like, you know what? I want to go work out. Go work out that day. Instead of like getting really excited and then getting on your phone and planning. There's so much now that can like distract us and hold us back. Whereas like, I remember when I started my YouTube channel, Instagram was like a thing, but there wasn't stories. When you had an idea, it was like easy to go and see it through because there wasn't things holding you back 
no checking analytics, like nothing like that. I feel that that's the case for so many goals that people get really, really excited and then they want to plan or they want to talk about it with a friend and then you lose that momentum. If you're excited about something, don't worry about how it's going to be sustainable or how you're going to keep doing it in the future. Like just literally put one foot in front of the other. Then adding a little bit of blush, making it look like I've got a little, little sunburn. <laughs> little beachy look. Powdered bronzer just to set everything and this is by NARS. I wear a lot of like creams and stuff so I like to have something matte too. Still loving this palette by Patrick Ta. I'm going in with this like light creamy shade. I put that on the lid. So like this isn't a new palette. I've been using this for like months now but I use it different. Like sometimes I go in with like a really shimmery shade. Like that's what I like about this palette is you could do different looks and when I got my hair blown out yesterday I got so many compliments on my makeup and it was just like this like just very simple like nothing crazy ever since I started lifting weights again along with my Pilates Pilates is my main workout but now I am lifting very lightweight for 15 minutes a couple days a week nothing crazy I'm not worried about being perfect I'm not worried about oh, I, I need to be eating this much protein or, oh, I need to be, no, it's, I'm excited about my weight loss journey right now. I'm excited. I'm excited to work out. That's an abundant mindset. It's when people start getting in your head about things like, oh, what are you going to do about this? Or what are you going to do about that? And you can literally apply that to any goal. Like think about a goal right now that you're so excited about. Like you think about it at night, you're like, if I had that, it would change everything. Now think about the logistics of it. I have this theory that when we stay up here, when we stay excited, like it's this new, fresh thing and that it can be ours. Like we truly, truly believe that. And we're excited about the process. We don't know what, all, everything about the journey, but we're just like excited. Those are the people that attract things when they start before they're ready. Something I thrive off of when I'm setting goals and really excited about my goals is a new morning routine. I'm a creature of habit where some things are gonna be the same. I'm gonna have water first thing in the morning. I'm gonna have my probiotic. When there's just something a little bit different, it's like very motivating and inspiring. Then I got a new lip liner and it's a little darker than the color I usually use. This is Rosewood by Sephora brand. If one of your goals this year for 2024 is weight loss or just getting overall healthier and maybe you don't know where to start and maybe you just want simple easy things that you can do every single day that you know are taking you in the right direction then you have to check out seeds this is the ds01 daily symbiotic and it's a pre and probiotic so you guys already saw me take this this morning i take two capsules right after i have coffee I always do it first thing in the morning and What's nice about that is that then you don't forget Seeds Daily Symbiotic has been a game changer for my digestion. I love sweets. I love baked goods. It's like one of my favorite things. Jared always sees me at night like baking cookies and he's like, more cookies in the house. I have such a sweet tooth and, and after having those things, I'd always have like a little bloated belly. Even healthy things like salad and having too much raw vegetables would give me a bloated belly. Since adding seed into my routine in 2021, that has not happened anymore. If you're looking for a pre and probiotic and you're like, okay, how do I know that this is a good one? Or I, I don't even know where to start when I'm looking. What I love about Seed is they do a ton of clinical research studies. So you know that there's science behind this brand. Something else you guys will really appreciate, I know it's something I really appreciate, is that the formula not only supports a healthy gut and your immune system, but it also supports healthy glowing skin. I was never somebody that suffered with acne, just hormonal breakouts and everything starts in your gut. I have seriously no pimples during that time of the month and that's amazing for me. Lastly, this is just something personally to me that I really appreciate about Seed and I think you guys will know that this is huge for me and that is it does come in a glass jar. I'm all about glass for 2024, but I switched blenders this year to a glass blender. I'm all about as much glass as possible. Obviously the goal is always improvement, not perfection. So there might be some plastic still in my diet, whatever. I've significantly reduced 
how much plastic I'm using and I love 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 glass yeah if you guys want to check seed out my code is samo25 I will have this all linked in my description box for you but use code samo25 that will get you 25% off your first month's supply of seed plus free shipping now let's make my favorite smoothie the fab four smoothie I literally lost 20 pounds when I was postpartum from this smoothie so here's the formula it's protein fat I did walnut butter as my fat, and I love that it's a glass jar. Greens, I did spinach today, and fiber, so I did flax seeds. So that's the formula, and then you can just add from there like anything you wanna put in your smoothie. So I did blueberries and a half a banana and a pinch of sea salt, blend that all up, and it's like this salty sweetness. I love it. I love my morning smoothie and this keeps me full for so long. Making me his favorite lunch ever. And steak and eggs. And it's pretty healthy too. I love how he uses my like nice Valentine's Day towels, not like the ugly ones. Like those are decorative, but of course that's like what he uses. Yeah, you to them though, you know? They have a nice feel. You're a shit. Okay. Show us inside what you're doing. So we got the eggs just broiling out the top. I think they'll be ready. They probably are ready, actually. Yum, looks really good. When you need like a low carb meal and you need, you need to like switch it up. Yeah. I did everything but the bagel. Rich. Yeah, protein rich. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Doing a nice Sunday stroll through all the hotels. <laughs> We're actually at the W right now, just walking through. It's nice because she gets a scooter and do what she wants to do, and then me and Jared get a little exercise. It's a party here. But we were at a birthday party all morning, tell their parents. <laughs> Weekends are for birthday parties, so she got to be with all her friends. Now we're just living the Fort Lauderdale Sunday dream. I like that. Jer, what hotel is that? This is the W. This is the Conrad. These are the places I always tell people to stay when they're in Fort Lauderdale. Because then you could just like restaurant hop from back and forth and this whole Fort Lauderdale beach, like the whole strip. You can walk to so much, like the farmer's market, restaurants, breakfast, brunch, all of it. Okay, so we're sitting outside, but this is seriously my favorite cafe. It's called Old Days. And this is actually, when I was saying to you guys, I went to an influencer event. This is where it was, which was really cool because I love it here. And they decorate everything with flowers. I need more white. Since I'm not having bread right now, they brought out veggies for me to dip in the guac and look at how vibrant and beautiful they look. I feel like something sweet. When I, back in the day when I was like low carb, I've tried like all the cream cheese desserts and like I've tried all those things. Today we're trying something different that I've never tried before and it's protein cookie dough. So like not to make cookies, but like to actually like eat cookie dough and you use Greek yogurt. So it's crazy hour in my house, so I'm going to make this and put a song and mute it because it's like <laughs> wild over here. Protein cookie dough, let's do this. So two tablespoons of melted peanut butter and then one cup of Greek yogurt. I'm sure you could use dairy-free as well. And then you wanna add a scoop of vanilla protein powder. Okay, look at how it's coming out so far. Does not look like cookie dough. Now. The recipe I found, this is also the time where she added, I don't remember if she did maple syrup or honey. I'm gonna skip that step to make this lower in sugar because the chocolate chips I'm using are real sugar ones. I don't have like the Lily's chocolate chips that are stevia. I'm using like actual sugar chocolate chips. Then you go in with almond flour and this is the only step that I'm like not so sure about because it's like I don't want it to get too dry but it's only a tablespoon in that almond flour. Add your chocolate chips, mix, and then you just wanna put it in the freezer for 10 minutes, and then you can start 
eating it. It's seriously so good. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.